New at five, surveillance cameras were rolling during an attempted robbery inside a convenience store, but the heist didn't go as planned, causing the alleged robber to run off without a shirt. Ross Gadotti is live tonight with the details. Ross. Yeah, Ross River Police says this is a say this is a situation of a robber who thought she had an easy mark. She did not realize, however, that the alleged victim and a store clerk were going to have none of it. The videotape from inside the Rite Aid at 201 in Finley Road shows a female figure walking in. Her hood is up and she is casing. Uh, after lurking around uh, the front end of the store uh, for a period of five or six minutes, uh, she had walked up to a victim. Police say she made her intentions clear. That she was a junkie and that she had a gun and that she, at that point she demanded uh, the victim's purse. What happens next? Surveillance video shows the female victim and the suspect. The victim in fear for her safety or for her, for her life for that matter, um, uh, went to step away. A battle ensues, the victim refusing to let go of her purse. The suspect determined to get it. Enter a Rite Aid employee. Uh, she saw a person that was uh, in need of help and she did not hesitate. The woman jumped into the fray to help the struggling victim using an old hockey move. She pulled the suspect's shirt over her head to trap her arms. Yeah, they were going at it. The suspect didn't get the purse, but she didn't want to rest it either. And ultimately the actor was able to get up and leave the store um, uh, on foot. So like the video shows, the suspect came out the front door wearing only a bra, walked across the parking lot, headed that way. Where she went after that, police are still trying to figure out. The victim suffered a broken leg in the melee. The suspect said to be a white female, mid-20s, medium build, shoulder-length, black curly hair. She's about five foot tall. She had royal blue sweatpants on, black shoes, a charcoal gray hoodie, and a sweatshirt that had some kind of wording on it. Meanwhile, Ross Draver police say that Rite Aid worker who stepped up to help the victim is best described. As a hero. I mean, she really helped, you know, the victim out there. Well, she certainly did help that woman out. Meanwhile, the lady with the broken leg is recovering. She's going to be just fine. As for this suspect, you saw the description. They anticipate that she's probably a local individual. If you know anything about it, the Ross River Police want to hear from you. Reporting live, Ross Gadotti, KDKA-TV News.